Now let's get started with runtime tracing of this application. If you remember, this application has SSL pinning and we are unable to see what's happening when we press about us button in this app. In most of the cases, we can bypass SSL pinning and we should be able to see what's happening when we press that button. But in some cases, there is a possibility that the application doesn't respect anything that you do and you are not able to see the HTTP requests. Now in such cases, what we can do is we can use Frida Trace to trace the application's runtime and capture the low level HTTP calls to understand what requests are being made by the application. So let's see how we can do that in this video. So basically we are going to use Frida to see what's happening when the application is making a HTTP request. First, I'm going to disable the proxy. So let me open up my Wi-Fi settings, configure proxy and disable it. Okay, now my proxy is disabled. And since the application is killed, the Frida client is disconnected. Now let me once again launch the application using objection to disable jailbreak detection. As you can see, the application is now launched. Now let's use the other tab where we used Frida. And this time, instead of using Frida, we are going to use Frida Trace. So this is another utility that comes with Frida installation. And this is an extremely useful utility to perform runtime tracing of iOS applications. Let's type Frida Trace dash U to specify that once again, we are communicating with the Frida server over USB. And let's specify dash M to specify that we want to trace some methods. And I'm going to use wildcard to specify that I want to trace both instance methods as well as class methods. In Objective-C, instance methods are denoted using minus and class methods are usually denoted using plus. So I'm basically using a wildcard to specify that I want to trace both of them. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now I want to trace NSURL request. This is a common class that developers use to make HTTP requests. So I'm using NSURL request and I want to trace all the methods within this class. So I am using another wildcard and let's also specify the name of the app that we want to trace, which is secure store v2 in this case. Now let's hit enter. As you can see, there are a lot of functions being traced. Each function will generate a handler. If you look at this, for each function, we are having one JS file that is being created. So we are going to have massive amount of files in underscore underscore handlers directory, which is available here. So we can later delete them or modify them as we want. But do remember that this command generates a massive amount of files on your disk. Now let's tap on view profile and see if any of these methods are going to be invoked. Interesting. If you look at this, there are multiple triggers here and there are also multiple colors. So each of these unique colors are for a single thread. So this is one thread and this is for a different thread. And similarly, this is for another thread. So this is how Frida shows us different threads that are invoked. If you look at this first one, we have an NS URL request, request with URL. And there is some argument that is passed to this function. From the name of this method, it can be clearly seen that this is basically the URL that is invoked. But we are unable to see the actual URL here. We will get into that in a moment. But for now, let's understand that this is possibly the URL and this is possibly the HTTP method. This is possibly the HTTP body if it is a post request. Now from this output, we can come to a few conclusions. Now, if we can trace this method, we can actually see the URL that is invoked. And if you can trace this method, we are going to get the HTTP method that is used, which is get or post. And if we can trace this method, we are going to get the HTTP body. And if we can trace this particular method, we are also going to get the HTTP headers that are used. So 
By quickly tracing using Frida Trace, we managed to find a lot of interesting information about a specific HTTP call. In the next video, we are going to trace each of these useful methods individually and we are going to retrieve all the details that we want, such as URL, HTTP method and the headers. So let's end this video here and in the next video, let's write some Frida scripts to trace the HTTP calls using the functions that we have got in here.